So if you're an older subscriber, you may notice I'm a little more friendly to EVS, the infamous Ethan Van Skiver, who is the leader of Comic Skate, a movement that, well, in their own eyes, got tired of the SJWs allegedly dominating the comics industry, and now they're doing their own thing. And it's not really about EVS, but I want to be clear, I am a little bit more friendly, not just with the Eric July situation, where he's acting like, a, as always, a clown and a fool, but recently one associate, JDA, has scored an interview with Todd McFarlane. And whatever you think about these people, you think, okay, well, that's great. Todd is a big comic book legend. It's great that a fan is able to speak to him directly. And, you know, I like Todd. I like Spawn. I don't know every part of Spawn, but I've tried to keep up with the Spawn mythology, at least in its broad strokes. And I even have some of the early issues, which should allegedly be worth like $50,000. But really, they're just, you know, they're, they're good, but <laughs> they're not going to make you a billionaire. So what is the problem? Well, JDA... God bless him, has said some uh, controversial remarks about Hitler and World War II. And to maintain consistency, I don't like it when Tim Poole does this. Uh, yeah, well, Hitler, he's a bad guy. Why do you think he's a bad guy? Uh, just because the media tells you he's a bad guy? Uh, I find that a little tiresome. Now, I study World War II seriously. I studied Hitler for decades. So when people make these kinds of snarky arguments, I'm like, I'm not very impressed. However... I do agree trying to cancel Todd over this is a little weird and silly. So I am forced to sort of try to be tolerant with JDA. I don't like his content. I clearly do not like his politics. But uh, but again, I've seen parts of the interview and it's just like, no, it seems fairly normal. Smarter than others? Of course there are, right? I mean, again, we have IQ tests for that. Um, but I think the piece that as I've grown older that I used to way undervalue that now I'd maybe overvalue is uh, personality. Um, and, and, and when I say that everybody's not built to be kind of an entrepreneur and go out there and, and say, I don't understand why that's better. I'm just going to build my own. We're going to go do it. And we're going to market it. I mean, again, people aren't it, it necessarily like, built. For where that, do we draw right? the line? Is JDA a nice, tolerant guy himself i doubt it is he an evil neo yahtzee no he's not he's not a neo yahtzee he's not so people putting that out is like eh. he, he's just what he is he's like one of these guys who just tries to be like i'm being edgy why, why are you think hitler's so bad come on what's the evidence he's so bad okay well yes if you're a serious analyst of the period we can debate back and forth how evil Hitler is. There, There is a counter-argument. I mean, people have this idea that Hitler just woke up one day and started eating Jewish children. It was like a werewolf, and he just snatched children from... That's not what happened. It, it's a very complex set of situations. And to be fair, Todd has always been like this. You know, he is very liberal, clearly. Oh, but he sometimes takes these reactionary positions, which... Again, that's him. He's a he's a very mixed salad. And if you do have serious issues about race and racism, guess what? He will address it. He had this big back and forth with the fan base over Spawn the movie. And good on Todd. Initially, he defended his decision. And later, he apologized. He said, you know what? You're right. I made a bad choice. I sold out. I should not have done that. It shows a lot of integrity. So no, if you have a serious issue on this, you can talk to Todd. Todd will respond. But if you're going to raise this kind of silly guilt by association, he's going to be like, well, that's that guy. I'm not going to agree with every guy I interview. I mean, and he doesn't. I mean, there's a great interview where some guy really tried to rope him into endorsing the MCU. And he's like, no, 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 no. He stood his ground. So you can't fault Todd's integrity. You can disagree with him. Uh, but here it's like, no, he just is talking to a fan. The interview itself is fine. I'm not trying to promote it. But I can't say it's like the beginning of the Third Reich. That's just not true. So I, I think there's a middle position. I respect actual fandom and him uh, contesting a lot of this right-wing stuff. But sometimes I think he's a little too militant and needs to calm down, in my humble opinion.